So I wanted to uh, check in this week, uh, one, because I don't have a lot of time to talk to you guys due to testing, uh, and we do have a couple things lingering this week, um, but also because uh, I had a, a conversation with a student the other night um, that is now kind of a little all too familiar from first semester, and um, when I look at uh, assignments not being turned in and things like that, um, and I was talking to this student, it, it made a lot of sense why that student was struggling. Um, and, you know, just knowing this student a little bit, uh, this is not a student who typically struggles or, or I seem to, to have any kind of um, repeating habit of not turning stuff in. Uh, and so that, of course, got me thinking, well, if somebody who's usually doing pretty well in my class is struggling, then, then probably everybody needs a refresher. So uh, here's the refresher, right? You have a to-do list just like I do. These are all the things I have to grade. That for you is what you have to do immediately. Um, and so if you're noticing that on Monday a whole bunch of stuff populates, right, it's because you're not doing stuff throughout the week. And if you're using any other resource than going to a course page, then you're probably having some trouble, not just in my class, but in a lot of classes. Every teacher I talk to uses the same method to try to communicate to students. So uh, what you need to be doing, uh, I'm assuming you, you are touching each course every single day. If you're dedicated to a block schedule, then you're touching every course every other day, um, then you need to be going to the course page, right? So why is the course page so important? Well, not only does it have the to-do list broken down just for the course, but almost all of your teachers have decided, I'm going to put key information that changes week to week. So for us, uh, you're always going to get something on Monday like finishing up work, uh, because Monday is my work day where I put together our whole schedule, and then you're going to be able to cruise through, here's what we're doing on Tuesday. Uh, this week we did NWA testing on Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, so that information is there. And then you're going to see that I, um, you know, as we move throughout the week, Tuesday and Wednesday are usually the days where I see you in class. Thursday and Friday I don't, but I still have work for you, right? Um, and usually I'm explaining what that work is in class, but if you're missing class or like this week where we have the test, I want to be sure that we're understanding things. So not only do I um, put the slides up here for what I would recommend you do every day, but I'm also giving you hyperlinks to get to those locations, right? And then, of course, like Friday, we always, we always have um, reading logs on Friday. So if this weren't enough, um, or if this is still a little confusing for you, or you don't like the slider or anything else, then um, you want to go to modules. Again, all of your teachers have set up modules. Uh, we've been instructed to do that. We've really um, practiced doing that, and all of us are doing that again and again and again. Um, so for me, I liked the idea of setting up days. So let's look at last week. Um, you can see here's what we are doing on Tuesday, here's what we're doing on Wednesday, doing on Thursday, doing on Friday. Now, if you're sitting at home and you say, why well, I'm going to do all my English work on Tuesday and Wednesday, that's fine. You're just going to do a little bit more of the week on Tuesday and then a little bit more of the week on Wednesday and then you're going to be done, right? Um, this week, Tuesday and Wednesday, is just NWE testing. So what did I do? Um, I just kind of put a thing up here to remind you that we're just doing testing. There's no assignment. It's just a page. It's got a little bit of information on it. Uh, just a reminder. We're going to move forward into peer editing. So this is our big activity this week, and we got to talk about peer editing because peer editing is really important. My assumption at this point is that you've turned in the rough draft of your paper and that you're finished with your paper. Um, I did go ahead and give everybody a two-day extension, so you have until Thursday morning to complete that paper. Um, and at that time, you want to be going to uh, this peer editing document. This is going to help you. This is the assignment. You're going to copy and paste this document, fill in other people's names, and then you're going to submit that as your work. Um, one of those activities is to use a rubric. So I've included the rubric. And how are you going to get those three partners? Well, you're going to go to discussion boards. And I've made a discussion board for peer editing partners. So now you want to write 
on this. You want to hit the reply button and you want to write like I'm looking for partners or I've already talked to so-and-so we're looking for one partner whoever you need this is your place to find partners okay so all of you need to be coming down here even if you haven't finished your paper I still expect that you read other people's papers right and so we're getting into groups of three I'll go back to the modules and the assignments and talk about that a little bit I'm sorry, we're getting into groups of four. You have three partners. That's what I meant to say. And you're just going to make an arrangement, like think about uh, being in a circle. Um, who's on your left or what's the order? One, two, three, four. And uh, if you're number one, then number two is doing um, this activity here where you're looking at our models and you're looking at the instructions. And then you're reading that person's essay and ensuring that all the parts are there. Uh, partner two, or the third person in your group, is going to read the essay just for grammar and errors and then looking at citation. So quite a lot there. Last one is going to look at the rubric and look at your essay and give you a grade and explaining that grade. Right? So you can imagine if you've had three different people look over your paper with targeted advice, then it's going to give you something to do to make that final paper. Okay, and we'll talk about the final paper later. But this week is really about getting that peer editing in. When is peer editing due? Just like everything, unless I give you an extension, like I did for the rough draft of the paper, it's always going to be to Tuesday the next week at 8 a.m. So I know some of us are having a hard time remembering Tuesday at 8 a.m. But just think about it. This is like when our school week actually begins now. Um, so Monday is kind of the last day of the week. That's kind of a work day. It's an all-purpose day. Tuesday is when we start the school week fresh, when we have classes, right? And if we all finish everything by Tuesday at 8 a.m., then we're ready to talk about things in class on Tuesday and then Wednesday. As always, if you have questions, please email me. Come to meets. Um, be sure to come to meets. You are getting grades for coming to meets. Come to uh, English Advisory Time if that's a resource that you need. But be sure to let me know if you're struggling or if you're having some difficulty kind of coming up with the basics of how to navigate the class, and that way we can uh, work on that and get a little bit better at that.